So dear participants of the fourth edition of the short term course on legal aid and elite laws, a very good evening. And as we gather here on the enlightening Friday evening, I'm honored to introduce our distinguished speaker for the upcoming session. Our session for this day is, is the highly regard with us. We have the speaker who is highly regarded legal luminary whose work has left an ind indelible mark on the domain of legal aid and allied laws. Dr. Kalpesh Kumar L. Gupta, the founder of Pro Bono India. Today, we have the privilege of delving into the practical aspects of right to information with her. The Right to Information Act is the cornerstone in fostering transparency and accountability in our democratic society. Sir's expertise in this area is unmatched and his insights promise to shed light on the practice intricacies of navigating through the provisions of this crucial legislation. As we explore the nuances of the Right to Information Act, we anticipate gaining valuable perspectives on how this legislation functions in the world. Sir, uh, will be, uh, uh, Sir will be uh, taking the session on the Right to Information Act and his experience coupled with his commitment to cause makes him an ideal guide to unravel the practice aspects of RTI. And so without further ado, let's warmly welcome Sir to share his wealth to knowledge on the practical aspects of RTI. Your insights are eagerly awaited, Sir. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Pooja Lakshmi, for kind introduction. So, uh, so and uh, good evening, all the participants. So today I'll be talking about obviously uh, there's so many slides are in this PPT, but I will try to complete uh, uh, maybe eight fifteen, like as soon as for now, uh, I will try my best. Now, related to like uh, some uh, this PPT like presentation consists of you know from theoretical background, historical theoretical background, and then and then some case studies and practical aspects also now which will help you like uh, in you know practical life in rti definitely uh, how many of uh, let me ask to start with you some uh, questions so how many of you know like participants we know we are students faculty members professionals also and other uh, people from other fields also so how many of uh, the participant uh, have studied rti in your curriculum Anyone? Was there any subject on RTI? Any paper? Okay, I can see some responses. One, two. Okay, no, sir. Yes. 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 Okay. I hope my voice is uh, audible. If not, please let me know. Okay, so yeah, people on okay shows okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. So again, there is a, like you will see different a curriculum, different law schools. Uh, it varies from like sometimes there is no paper on RTI. Uh, for example, I have been like you no know, in advance as Dr. Hardik Parikran discussed. So he offers advanced course on legal drafting on RTI. Uh, sorry, advanced uh, legal drafting. So in that, you know, I've, uh, I've been taking session on RTI, how to file RTI, maybe three, four hour session for the final year students. So this is the way there is no separate paper. Again, we have to accommodate this paper. And then some places I have seen it is there in as a seminar paper or elective paper that I have seen. Now, another question, like how many of you know how to file RTI? Okay, somebody say there was a curriculum, it was in curriculum, not in curriculum. Now, how many of you know how to file RTI? Any point of time, did you learn how to file RTI in your law school? Okay, yes, yes, no, no. Okay. Right, so another question, like for example, it is there in syllabus, but again, how to file RTI is not covered. Okay, I learned it outside law school, definitely. Same thing, radio. So let me tell you, I didn't uh, there was uh, I didn't learn the RTI in LLB, LLM also. So I learned this, you know, this, you know, the practical. Uh, okay, when I was a law student, activist helped me to know the practical. Yeah, okay, definitely. So that's like an you know, issue. Nobody like especially there is no paper on RTI. If there is a paper or something on RTI, uh, 
there won't be any practical aspects uh, how to file RTI and then further go in appeal and then making complaint. Okay. Third question, sir, let me ask you, and any one of you have filed the RTI so far? Any one of you? No? Yes, yes, uh, I got a couple of responses. I have filed RTI, okay. 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 So I got cover. Yes, no, yes, no. I got some responses. Uh, any fruitful outcome of, of your RTI? Both questions. Any fruitful you succeeded? Maybe like you know, I just want to know that not necessary. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah. So again, you know, RTI, you know, I, I hope you remember Dr. Hardik also discussed right related to PIL. So you have to do some, you know, ground work some you know uh, some information that you data that you required and then rti is uh, like one of the best uh, like you know way that you can tool you can get the information and then you could utilize those information you know your rti you know that you know uh, that petition uh, sorry pil or any other i would say in complaint also so you have to it's not a complaint please keep in mind sometime i have seen sir i want to uh you know make a complaint or here and there but again it's not i would say it's not a complaint you have to get information and you have to utilize those information so thank you very much uh, participant for your uh input on discussion now let me start sorry i will be rushing through it because so many slides are there so and you please keep putting your responses in the chat box question query so i will keep looking at those questions and then uh, try to take up those questions uh, in best possible manner. Okay, so I hope my slide is visible. Okay, thank you very much. Now related to you see, uh, now visible. Okay, thank you very much. So there's a like an outline presentation. I'll be uh, maybe rushing through some of the slides. I will skip some of the slides because so many slides are there. So this is the outline that, you know, let me uh, go through it. So how RTI is connected to our constitution of India? Any answer? How it's connected? Yes, please. Article 19. Okay. Thank you, Subhankar. Yes, please. Please keep letting me write. Uh, no, that slide is moving. Will not write to Article 1921. Okay, it's fundamental right. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. So we we'll see, like you know, yes, there is a connection. Again, it's like tell you, it's a like matter of interpretation that we know. Like in so many things are not there in particular provision or legislation. But again, you know, the time and again, you know, gradually, uh, the interpretation done by uh, our higher courts, and then you know. Uh, Various you know provisions and amendment that we have seen an impact right there are direction also issued under that so yeah, definitely there is a connection okay only when we know we can express ourselves definitely thank you Subhankar so yes until unless we have right you know, we don't have any information we cannot you know become a part of uh, the system right so it is essential we can say when we can say somebody is a good citizen right. If you are until like, you know, and you are interested in that, you know, how government is functioning, right? In that sense that you can say, yes, you are a good citizen, right? From my point of view, and I hope you will all of you agree. Now you see, why RTI? What uh, earlier used to happen, right? So RTI Act of which year? Student, first year student. Don't want answer from you know, seniors, right? Who already done. Any first, second year students? What used to happen earlier before RT Act? Thank you, 2005 Act. Yeah. So before that, what used to happen? There's no, like, you know, for example, you have made an uh, application for Russian card or for the passport or any other thing. If you visit in you know, a government office, you will see, okay, uh, it's not ready. Kalana, come tomorrow, day after tomorrow, after a few uh, week or months, right? So that we, the answer we used to get, right? So you can ask to your, you know, parents that they would have, you know, uh, experienced and some of the you know, senior faculty members and professional also they might have uh, experienced this thing. The how it's you know painful 
यस थैंक यू अपर्णा एम के एस एस मजदूर किसान शक्ति संगठन राइट दे इनिशिएटेड सो देर इज नो ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी एंड दैट वॉज यू नो दिस लेड टू दिस डिफरेंट इनिशिएटिव एंड अल्टीमेटली राइट टू इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्ट यू सी डिफरेंट लाइक यू नो वी हैव सेपरेट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फाइव एक्ट इज देर यू सी एनी अदर कंट्रीज लाइक डिफरेंट नेम्स यू विल सी लाइक सो फार आई वुड सी लाइक मोर देन वन ट्वेंटी कंट्रीज हैविंग आर टी आई एक्ट ऑन लाइक नो राइट टू रिलेटेड टू राइट टू इन्फॉर्मेशन यू सी लाइक फ्रीडम ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्ट आर टी आई लाइक यू नो ऑफिशियल ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्ट एंड देन प्रमोशन ऑफ एक्सप्रेस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट नोमेन नेम्स आर देर एंड सब कंट्री इट इज देर इन देर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट So again, like as a matter of interpretation, uh, we got under like Art uh, Article Nineteen, like freedom of speech and expression. Uh, expression, until unless we have information, we cannot use our personal rights. So you can see, uh, and obviously, like you can different uh, uh, like countries name. You can say Pakistan again. Recent you can say two thousand thirteen uh, and very old acts. You can say nineteen sixty and Sweden was the first country. Now before that, Art Act two thousand five, which you can see. Different state were having art, uh, act related to RTA. Okay, being a firm member, firmly we have some right to know. Okay, thank you, uh, Jaydev, for response. So different, different state they were having law on RTI. So you can see the years and obviously now, uh, Jammu Kashmir it was a protect. Now obviously after, you know, new uh, like development. Now you see it's a uh, very part of two thousand five act is uh, applicable to. Now you will see it's rightly stated by you know Aparna MKSS right. So earlier, what used to happen, like you know, official secret act 1923. So what used to happen, every uh, working of the government to used to be like kept secret, right? It won't be disclosed how the government is working inside or things in that uh, scale. Okay, thank you, Prerna. Yeah. So now you know the movement started by MKSS, Mazdoor Kisan Shakti Sangathan, right? I hope you must be aware about the Arun Roy and the different and others, you know, prominent personality. So they led movement. They started asking. Uh, in, uh, Uh, detail from the panchayats, and then they, you know, the movement started, and then we got to like the you know, Freedom of Information Act 2002. So major like uh, the lacuna, I would say, like there is no penal provisions in that, and then uh, there is you no know, so, so a lot of drawbacks were there. So in that case, we see the Right to Information uh, Act will uh, came into force in 2015. Now another thing we will see, so we can see every uh, act they are having you know object objectives. You see, it talks about focus on two things like transparency and accountability, right? And second thing, if you see like any laws are there, there will be a authority or body or you know some office will be there. So here we have Central Information Commission and the State Information Commission. So two things are there. So focus on like you no know, transparency, accountability, and the second thing is the setting up of Central Information SSC, CIC, and SSC. So keep in mind, so I won't be uh, pronouncing the. Which names so CIC and SIC, central level and state level. Now related to right to information, the definition is seven given. So can you uh, go and inspect some documents? I want to visit office. Can you do in that RTI? Can you go and inspect, or you uh, get only the certified copy or any documents? Okay, thank you. Yes, any other responses? Aparna said yes. Okay, Ussa, I think yes, yeah. So let me tell you, very very few people. Okay, thank you, Prerna. Yes. So again, like you know, the right to information. You can see. Uh, I hope my slide is moving. So I am on the slide. Right to information, section two J. Again, don't worry about the section. So lot of things. Like you know, so generally what uh, like happens, citizen they make an application to get some records, right, in return. Whatever is information like you know, available, that to be provided. So inspection of work definitely there is a provision. Very very few people I would say like you know they use this inspection. You can go and inspect the work also. Now this is the example you can see one of the citizen of Ahmedabad. He filed RTI. You know after you this must be happening in your city also in your town. Uh, road is there and after the you know first on the very first day or second day after the monsoon heavy monsoon and then this kind of you know things you will uh, you might have you know come across or you will come across definitely obviously. So in that case, so he filed RTI and then asked for the sample of material. So in that case, so as I told you, like you have to get those information, make a complaint. Okay, now you get it uh, analyzed, right, in by laboratory, and then use those information, make an uh, complaint to authority. And obviously, PIL is there. So that way, you can go and inspect. It's not only getting a certified copy of particular document. Now, information uh, info, that definition is also given, so you can you can see what kind of thing. 
uh, like records, documents, circulars, uh, contract reports, but that you can get. Keep one thing in mind, whatever information is available, that only will be given to you. Another point, let me give you, don't think uh, the information, sometimes various cases are there, they will say this kind of information is not available. But do not worry, like there are certain cases, various cases are there because of your RTI application, because, you know, uh, they are supposed to maintain those information, right? And because somebody filed RTI, right? Because of your RTI application complaint, right? They start uh, maintain those, you know, information. Let me tell you. This happened, right? There are the cases are there. So in that case, somebody filed RTI, one of my student, I will discuss that is uh, one of the sides is there. So he uh, filed RTI to know the, you know, land records detail. And then, uh, almost it took one and a half year. So as I told you the application and first appeal, second appeal, there is a procedure is there. And then he got like no answer. There is no, the land record is there, right? He wanted a map of his village in uh, Gujarat, one of the district. So in that case, so again, and then the central, the state information commission, Gujarat state information commission, he ordered, right? So because of that, they, you know, uh, there's an impact and they were asked to provide this kind of information, maintain, create those information. So that is a thing. And then there is other example also there. So don't think, right, you will get some example, okay, this kind of information is not available. So again, obviously they can say this is not available. So whatever information is available, that can, that to be only provided. But again, another, you can see another point because of the RTI application, this kind of things also happen. Now, the, the second para you can see, the can you get the information from private body for example there is a private university in your uh, town so how will you get the information there's a private university in your state right now you want some information from that private university whether it's a uh, in, like having permission or not right running various courses or any other thing so can you get those information No, no. So I'm right now referring to second paragraph and it's underlined, which can be accessed by public authority. I was two time, but I could not get. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, okay. Okay. If it's in a public land, okay. Aparna, thank you. Shubhankar, only partially fully funded by government body. Okay, thank you very much, Shubhankar. Yeah, so definitely this is criteria are there, right? Uh, I was uh, filed appeal, you have not get repel. Okay, thank you very much, Sapnil. So uh, from government, okay, thank you. So now the, I'm focusing on the second paragraph. So you will see uh, regarding to university, right? So how university runs. So there are two types of like government university and then private universities are there. And now you can see where you know, private universities are there. For example, in Gujarat, there is a so many, I would say uh, right now, 50 plus private universities are there. Same thing, maybe 20, 30, 40 in your respective uh, state, there are private universities. Now, generally, we see the older universities, there will be the act. Like we have Gujarat University Act 1951, then Delhi University, I think 1912. So different like, and then uh, Gujarat National Law University Act 2003. So they set up under the act. So obviously they are uh, under, they will falling under this particular uh, uh, you know, definition of public authority. Now related to uh, the private university. So private university, so whatever information, you can see the underlying of, like which can be accessed by public authority. Now we we'll see, uh, I want information from uh, like, you know, so I can make an application to UGC, education department, and then regulating body. For example, they are running some course on like, you know, medical course, MBBS they are running. Or for example, in our courses, like in the Bar Council of uh, India, they are the regulating body. So UGC, UGC is there. So in that case, you can make an application to Bar Council of India, right? And then uh, get the information, whatever information is available, because they are public authority, which can be accessed by public authority. The BCI, right? National Medical Council, and then, uh, for example, Council of Agriculture, and then uh, different regulating body. You can see, like Dental Council of India, Nursing Council of India. So they are regulating body, regulating particular courses. So you need to make an application in that office, right? So the public or private, you can, uh, you can, can't make an application to the private body. So this way you have to uh, strategically work and make an application and get the information, whatever is available. Now records, again, you can see what is covered. We discussed right to information records, again, what kind of, you know, document, manuscript, file, 
and then so images that you can get under the RTI. Now, the, this is a very crucial definition. Many times we will see we are not public authority, we are not like this kind of things happen. So, uh, first, uh, it's very obvious you can say by under the constitution something is established or under the parliament or you will see, uh, you know, any other law made by the state legislature. So, that is very obvious. Another last part you can see, uh, let me ask you like a question like IIMs. How IIMs operating? Indian Institute Management and IITs. Okay, autonomous body, okay. Government, I am privately, okay. Under Ministry of Health, I am, I'm talking about Indian Institute Management. I am under the government, citizen, okay. Okay, thank you very much, yeah. So thank you very much for responses. Now you see here, uh, I am every I am, like, you know, I am Kolkata, that was the first I am, that up in November 1961, and then December, 90, the I am Ahmedabad. So in that case, so every, like, you no, know, I am just set up under the, the society registration in every state. So that was autonomous body and later, later on it was, uh, uh, you know, came under the Ministry of MHRD, now Education Department. And then 2017, the IIM Act came, right? It was, you know, enacted. And obviously there is IIT Act is there. And then every state, like related to national names are there, national law university again, but there is a, nothing like a national law. It's a state. Like Gujarat National Law City Act, then NUSRA, and then NLU Delhi, uh, the, every NLU, you know, like we will see there is an act set up this NLU. So that is a way. And another point you can see last this uh, three, four lines. So the body owned and controlled by, right, the government. The land is given, then there is you no know, control by or, you know, the finance given by the government. In that case, it will be considered as a private or uh, public authority. So it's a more than, don't take it, uh, like, you know, uh, call it as a government. It's a more than government. The definition is wider than the government, right? So keep in mind. Now you can see here, uh, authority under RT Act. Now the consumer, the case is what happens. There is a district labor, right? District commission, lead forum, district commission, state commission, national commission, that is the flow, right? Now you see, it is not like in against the order. You can see here the left side, the right? public information officer. It is called PIU. So the example I have given like Gujarat Industrial Development Corporation and then Appellate Authority. Now you see this PIU and the Appellate Authority sits in the same department, right? And then this Appellate Authority is senior in that particular department. For example, there are cases, you know, like from Suraso, Registrar, uh, again, you know, they can appoint anyone. So Registrar was a public information officer and the vice chancellor is an appellate authority. So that is a structure. Again, it can depend upon the uh, public authorities in offices. So you see like public authority, information officer, and then uh, appellate authority, and then against the order of uh, appellate authority, yeah, this is called first day application. This is the first uh, appeal and this is second appeal. So against the order of appellate authority, appeal to be made to, right? information commission. So state level, it is not like, please keep in mind, against the order of state, right, you cannot go. So there is not a, like in the process. It's not like against the order of state, you'll go to central, right? Both are separate one. Same thing, will you see like income tax department or post office or any, anything, so, or maybe like central body, IIM, IIT, you can say. So central public information officer, right? And then appellate authority is there against the order of appellate authority, the appeal, uh, the second appeal will go to Central Information Commission, right? So just, please do not miss, that's why I put up this separately, right? We see the, how the application uh, goes, what is like flow. Now we see uh, this information to be given to only citizen of India. You cannot put up the names, you have to put your name, not ABC limited or associate, you have to put, my for example, I had to write Kalpesh Gupta. So it's information that to be given to only citizen of India. Obviously, you can put a address of your institution or organization that is fine, but application to be made to in that your particular name. Now you will see these are the information like pro so motor disclosure, right? Proactive disclosure. So again, a lot of issues are there. Even to getting this kind of information, you can say like you know what are the organization function, budget, council meeting, reports. Right? This should be proactively. They should display on their website. 
still there is many cases are there you will see like you know information are not available and getting to this kind of information they the people are filing rtas so if you will like you know this is a very basic thing if you want to avoid uh, you know rta applications right so disclose as much as possible and not talking on the focusing on proactive disclosure like a lot of things like, okay there is a meeting happen just put it on website this is the agenda this is a meeting budget keep you know putting uh disseminate those information so it will reduce those are no rti you know applications right now uh, you see the information exclusion now you cannot get each and every information right for example this you can say like you know it's affecting sovereignty integrity of india some security strategic uh, reason or relation with the foreign state so this kind of you know you cannot get your information now uh, information like personal information that also you cannot get for example somebody filing RTA to know the what is the income tax detail or any other thing or health related thing in like civil hospitals, right? So that's uh, will not be given. Now another thing you will see until last point you can see if there is like a matter of public interest. So in that the information to be given. So again this kind of you have to show there is a public interest, right? So and then information to be given. So and then for example this section ten, uh, 10 talks about for example like you have asked ten questions, right? In that case you will see. Out of the six questions that you know answer can be to be can be given and then four are exempted. So what they will do, they will severe the RT application, they will give you an answer for that six question, and the fourth they will say, okay, these are exempted and they have to mention section. Right. So under that section eight of one day, what the section subsections are there. So after they mention these are exempted, and then they will give answer for the rest of the six uh, you know, that question that you have asked. Now related to you will see uh, the third party information. Now, for the example, I'm working in a particular organization. So in that case, somebody filing uh, RTA to know my details. So we'll go to register. For example, I'm working in a particular university. So somebody file a, a RTA to register to know my new details. So register will inform. So I'm just giving this, explaining this, you know, third party information. So register within five days will send later to me. Uh, somebody has, you know, like XYZ file RTA to know details. So that register. As a PIO, public information officer or central public information officer, as the case may be in the central uh, authority. So, in that case, uh, five days uh, will inform me, I have to reply in 10 days, right? So, whether, like, you know, so the register as a PIO, he or she has to keep my inputs into consideration. So, I will also get the opportunity, right? So, this is the way it takes generally, it's a 30 days, right? Here, it's a 40 days because the third party information is involved. It is not like PIO has to take my, uh, what if, for example, I have said no, there is no need to disclose my information, right? So again, definitely generally practically what happens if I say no, PIO will say no, uh, the information cannot be given. So those kind of things happen generally, they practically think, but uh, the actually the scenario is that right, uh, the PI has to take my view into consideration, my reply into consideration. That is a thing. But most of the practically what happens, they deny. If I say no, they will deny. And then the PIO is going to disclose my you know information. Obviously, like he will be replying to uh, the applicant, and by same uh, you know he will also informing me. In that case, what will happen? I will also uh, go for an appeal, right? No, I said no. In that case, I also I have also right to go in appeal. Section 19, you can see here, we'll discuss that flow. Complaint and the appeal both are separate thing. Now, these are the exempted organization you can see here. So paramilitary force, Army, Navy, Air Force, they are falling under this, you know, uh under the like you no, know, this uh, you can get information for Army, Navy, Air Force, obviously not strategic other things uh, for purpose, like in paramilitary forces and other you can they say here. Uh, CBI and the CISA, BSF, Intelligence Bureau. So you cannot get information. They are exempted under RTA. If there is a while, uh, the matter of corruption and violation, uh, human right, uh, human rights violation or corruption. So you can get information. Again, you have to prove in then uh, particular cases. Now we see uh, different you know, success stories are there. Like in, there is a hospital. There is no. There are no doctors. Schools. There are no teachers. Right. Uh, in it to like there's a matter related to pension provision fund and then ration issues right uh, fair shop you know that issue so this kind of very success stories are there uh, might have uh, might have come across now this is an example you can say like you know Ashwarya is from like so 
chief file RTI and this is the world chief file RTI in ministry. So she asked when Mahatma Gandhi was given name Mahatma, right? And there was no answer. There is no record, right? So this is the link. You know, they learned again uh, her mother is RTI activist. She learned how to file RTI. So another thing is like there is a no age limit. Right, it's not like you have completed 18, then you can make an application, nothing like that. Right, so you can uh, file RTI uh, application appeal, right, at the case, maybe. Again, you can see the uh, uh, see file RTI and RTO related to over speeding of you know, cases is a nine year old uh, students. Now, you can see different, you know, state uh, they come up with different, different university. Now, this is a helpline was introduced by Bihar, you can make an application. And then uh, get the information. Punjab, they have come up with uh, RTI helpline a uh, few years back. And this MP, they have also come up with. So, with the state, they have come up with uh, uh, initiatives, helpline. Now, you can see RTI on which this is the initiative, a uh, very uh, great initiative for the uh, dissemination of RTI. As I uh, told you, like many are still are not aware of RTI, how to file RTI, make an application. Now we can see this is the like uh, Mahiti Adhikar Gujarat Pahal. So Pahal like means initiative, right? So Mahiti Adhikar Information, Right to Information Gujarat Initiative, we can say in English. So MAGP. So they come up with this, you know, vehicle. Uh, I'm associated and then connected with, you know, since uh, inception, I have learned a lot of things from them. Uh, so you can see, uh, sorry for this block uh, picture. So then this sumo was converted into RTI on the base. So you can see they keep going different part of, you know, city and they've been to various other states also like MP, JNK and Rajasthan also for the awareness. So they uh, uh, distribute pamphlet also. They explain what is RTI and then uh, show these documentaries also. So you can see different in you know, the pictures are there. They've been to uh, governor's house also in Gandhinagar. And this is me, uh, one of the meeting is was, I think, uh, it may be like 2013, almost in 10 years back. So now they got the big bus. You can see now big uh, LCD is there and the people are there for you know, getting pamphlets, uh, getting information. And this is the helpline you can see. So uh, this is a helpline number also. They keep getting information, uh, the queries, complaints from all over the, uh, across the state and all was uh, out of state also. They've been to Jammu Kashmir also, you can see here for the awareness. Now related to, to like, you know, one of the like ex, uh, uh, answer sheet case. So many like, you know, when RTI came to many like, you know, I hope some of might have you know, done like for rechecking or this kind of you know, things you would have also experienced in your, uh, still you might have done or may experience in future also, right? So different, different, you know, like rechecking fees are there and then cases. So different people, you know, students from across the uh, country, they started filing uh, RTI to get the answer sheets. So again, so collectively, the uh, Supreme Court, so CBSE versus Aditya Bandopata is a very famous case. So in that case, uh, Supreme Court say, okay, let, let us, you know, heard this matter because same issue, you can see here, like CBSE, West Bengal Board of Secondary Education and the Council for Higher Education, University of Kolkata, ICA. So various, you can see, uh, service com West Bengal Service Commission. So collectively, it was heard. And then uh, Supreme Court stated, so like, you're not holding answers, like we, the whatever information you hold uh, being hold under the fiduciary relationship cannot be uh, given to anyone. For example, uh, patient doctor relation, it's a fiduciary relationship, uh, advocate clients, it's a relation of fiduciary relationship, it cannot be given to anyone, right? But again, it was stated like your holding answer sheet is uh, right, not under the fiduciary relationship. So answer sheet falling under the definition of information had to be given. Now you can see BCCI, there are a lot of cases earlier. What is so BCCI? I hope uh, what is BCCI? How it works? What is BCCI? Right now we have seen, uh, yeah, that very practically not a state. Uh, we teach and learn right in law school, theoretically, very technically. Any other answer? Autonomous, okay. BCCI is a private body, autonomous body, okay. It is not for profit organization, okay. Now all of you might have seen World Cup matches and then I hope you got disappointed looking at the, yes, it uh, selects Team India, it should be the state, okay, okay, thank you, yeah. So this thing again, you can see here, a uh, lot of things happening uh, for last one decade, you can see Board of Control for Cricket India, okay, thank you. 
not controlled directly by Union of India. Yeah. So that was the issue again. Uh, 2011 judgment, you can say BCCI again. Uh, it's a more than like 85 year. It's a registered under Tamil Nadu Cooperative Society Act. Right. So how you started, you can say more than 85 or maybe close to 90 years old uh, society body, how you started. And then there was again uh, judgment, you can see here, like central information, uh, you know, commission, it's a society, it's not a public authority. That was a case. Again, uh, another uh, international body, we we'll see, uh, they said it should be covered under, under RTF, for example, uh, World Anti-Doping Agency and then Inter Indian Olympic Association. So these are again, so uh, issues are there. Now we see, like, I hope you are aware about this, you know, BCCI issue, it was, you know, uh, the governor's taken by Justice Lola was appointed. So this kind of practical. Now you see, this is like law commission report is there, right? So uh, report number 275, you see here. So this is, uh, they submit a report. So basic thing, like, you know, you see, like practically, so uh, you are representing India. You cannot say you are a private body. Right, you will see different federations are there, hockey federation and then badminton federation and uh, like wrestling federation, different, different. How, you know, we know from starting from uh, district level and then there is a how it goes at, you know, how they represent uh, India at the various uh, level. So it's a wonderful how they, you know, they submitted, yes, they should cover under, you know, RTI. So they cannot say, right, you are, you are getting other benefits also uh, from the country. And the basic, very fundamental thing, you are representing India. In your case, okay, okay, private is tomorrow, you will start something, you will say, okay, we are, uh, you know, uh, private body, and then you are doing some, you know, state act, state kind of, you know, similar to state act. So you cannot say, okay, we are not uh, um, answerable to anyone. Now, related to the political party, you will see, again, uh, the political party, uh, let me give you, uh, I'm not asking question right now, because due to paucity of time, you see the political party, are exempted from the income tax. They need not to pay any taxes, right? So in that case, you see, so uh, they say in 2013 almost you will see it has been like a decade. Still, they have not complied with this order. Subhash Chandra Garwal, his name is there in World uh, Guinness Book of World Repo Record for filing most of uh, most number of RTI. So you can this is a figure you can see every year. You can also get to know figure from your particular state also. Here, like a couple of things. For example, uh, the political party they get. Uh, land at a consistent rate, uh, they are no need to pay any, any taxes. They get like you know free air on the for uh, I hope you must aware about monkey bath. So, free air on the all India radio. So, this kind of benefit I are there, and you know, say we are not public authority immediately after this uh, order of you know CIC, they come up, uh, introduce you know, that you know, they come up with amendment. So, you know, like getting like a political party, they are not uh, falling under the definition of public authority. And there are a lot of issues where then they, uh, you know, call that, you know, bill the amendment back because of, you know, a lot of uproar uh, was there all over the India. Now, you see, again, there is an issue with uh, our prime ministers, you know, degree, a uh, lot of things, you know, happen also. So generally, like simple answer is there, if you are holding or an office of, you know, you know, public office, you have to be transparent. This is my degree. This is my assets, right? So Subhash Chandra Agarwal, again, you will see he filed also, uh, you know, RTI to know the details of, you know, Supreme Court like, like, um, judges. And there's an issue, it will uh, hamper our independence of judiciary. Nothing like that. Recently, I think you might have shown a like, couple of uh, two judges they appointed in Supreme Court. They disclosed their assets. So this way you have to act. So you are not a private body. You're holding some, you know, the government like a public, uh, office is the position that particular office you have to be transparent and then uh, be transparent like you no know, transparent uh, as much as possible and obviously there are uh, rules regulations are there right in particular law so in that you have to follow that now related to the let me go like some of the keys like you can see different different state uh, uh, a lot of you know copies and then the complaints are pending you will see recently i keep uh, looking at those uh, updates now uh, you see the different uh, and then different criteria you see the information commissioner very actively like right side you can see here professor sridhar so he was a professor in lansar hyderabad that's right? so we need such like we need because we need for, we keep telling we need this kind of judges same way like here it's a quasi judicial body not complete court i hope you are understanding this uh, quasi it's not complete court means like quasi judicial body so he was a professor and then uh, become like 
part of the central information commission gave very uh, wonderful you know orders in that case uh, in bit middle you can say is gandhi sir so i have been in contact with sir for you know sir sir is busy so i'll be planning actually before my lecture sir uh, was supposed to take lecture but again he is busy till 27 so i'll be plan such lecture uh, shortly so again so he is a again a business man passer for iit bombay again he delivered and you can see 975 was a percent on the spot decision so that is again one of the uh, efficient way he worked while being the, in the office of central information commissioner and then ratnakar gaikwad also you can see uh, did wonderful job as a commissioner now different different way you can see here like uh, till date i think there are four five i would say pil file in supreme court lot of you know, vacancies are there uh, fill up the vacancy at various places uh, in, in cic especially uh, so in that this thing happened since last i would say 7 to 8 uh, years for filling up the vacancy because you know so many like an you know, appeal and complaints were pending uh, again this is the news clipping i filed rti at you know almost 50 60 rti so far in different ministry and government so this is a news clipping that uh, you can see here uh, another you can see this is again in gujarati i filed rti in uh, gujarat high court related to how they monitoring the cases so there is a news clipping in that in gujarati uh, yeah now you can see this is the like you know uh, RTI I filed in uh, I was you know, bring by you know, PhD like I hope you are aware about the special economic zone SEZ and there is a law called SEZ Act Special Economic Zone Act 2005. So in that SEZ they are exempted they are no need to pay any kind of you no know, taxes. So I filed RTI in various government department including Minister of Finance also. I asked you know the figure they you know, lost to exchequer because of uh, because there's income tax benefit is there. So what they did. from minister of finance government of india they send letter to all over the state from state to different different district so you can see here i got 1200 plus replies and then no information available nil information available so those kind of info you know that i used to get reply i opened maybe around half of the envelope and then i really uh, gave up because the way and then another reply i got like a ministry of finance and there is a department of revenue a department of revenue there is a direct tax and a indirect tax So indirect tax is like excise, customs, so those falling under the in indirect taxes. So I got a reply from uh, custom and excise department, a uh, uh, Excel sheet. So this is the efficient way I got. Okay, this is the figure, right? Whatever you know, I ask question. This I uh, got a reply from the income tax department. Right? Department of Revenue has told you direct, indirect tax, direct tax, income tax. So this is the again you can see. a uh, reply from the like income tax department and the really shocking and the really utter wastage of you know uh, the, the government money uh, again i am not uh, again you might have seen uh, like rti uh, activists killing so they try to uh, expose uh, various you know irregularity or scam other things so various way you can see different different uh, things happen different different uh, state related to land or ration card uh, and then related to different different school related thing health related thing uh, again various cases happen so i hope you must be aware about the case of satendra dubey so he uh, wrote letter to you know, the pmo office related to like irregularity and then uh, the corruption in this you know this highway thing okay so thank you i will get back to some questions uh, yeah so and then his letter was leaked and then ultimately he was uh, killed on the way to his in the uh, bihar and this again he was i am lucknow graduate again there is a movie also if you want to i will share the uh, right so you can go through this see this movie again then it's called whistle blower thank you aparna uh, so you know this i call the whistle blower again this is a case of from gujarat he was shot dead uh, before in front of the gujarat high court these are the various cases are there now you can see like there is a law whistle blower protection act i don't know how many heard about this bill still for years there is no update on this rti what happens people keep asking sometimes can we sir can i file rti anonymously the answer is no you have to mention your detail right name and address and this is also one of the concern is uh, there if you wish disclose those you know information so those thing uh, you know people will be after your life so those thing happen uh again here like in you know, a bristle bros like within the organization or outside the organization can can make a complaint to competent authority 
and your name won't be disclosed identity won't be disclosed so this is the beauty of this particular you know, whistleblower protection act again if you are making frivolous so obviously fine will be there but again there is no update on this particular uh, bill now there are cases under like you know uh, misuse of rti from private issue people in you know, a file rti for example i can get answer sheet of like you know, my or maybe my uh, uh, son or daughter's answer sheet can get so this is a case you can see now i'm filing rti to get an answer sheet of uh, my uh, like children's classmates so this is again case of you know misuse of rti uh, another case i'm skipping this thing now related to like you see uh, i don't know like how many of like sometimes you get ch uh, chance read you will see uh, entire judgment so we see some remarks will be there okay sometimes we see the heading okay this is allowed this is not allowed this kind of heading we see uh, this is a, a crux form you can see there's a case this discuss on like the you know, answer sheet case so in that there's a remark like nation doesn't want a scenario where 75 percent of public authority spend 75 percent of time in collecting and furnishing information right so you will see you won't see like you know and then person is there or any uh, authorities in particular, you know, official in particular uh, department or university institution. So that will be additional charge. You are already doing some activity and plus, okay, you take care of this uh, particular, you know, that uh, RTI, as a PI also you see or appellate authority. So again, this kind of you know, practical issues are there. Definitely every law has and pros and uh, cons are there. Now related to practical aspect, uh, what is the fees at the central level? How much fees? What is your deadline? Please keep putting your response in the chat box. What is your timeline? What is your fees? Okay, 10 rupees, 10 rupees. Okay, thank you. Okay, 10 rupees. 10 rupees, 30 days. Okay. Okay, another question. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, 10, 10 rupees. Okay, yeah. Uh, another question like what is it like uh, okay is there a format for filing rti no no okay no 10 rupees and postal order okay thank you okay yeah okay thank you very much now you see uh, there are two things are as we discussed like the central authority and the state authority now you see there is central level there is no format Simply, we are writing a letter, right? So there is no format, and the different states are having they, they can make their own rules. What will be the format, right? And then what will be the uh, you know fees will be there. So different different state you will see. So here, uh, simply you know, we'll discuss this for uh, example. The format is there in the upcoming slide. So you see, and then another last point you can see. You are not required right? as an applicant, you are not required to give any reason, right? I'm filing this RTI for a particular reason. No, right? You just, you know, whatever want to ask, right? You can get information from the new RTI, right? So there's no need to give an explanation or any thing. You just simply, you know, uh, ask uh, that questions under RTI. Now different like standard level, like, you know, you're filing RTI to central public authority. The fees is 10 rupees different different states as i told you different different format and don't worry about the format sometimes you know they reply also if you're not using even uh you, you are not used that particular format no need to worry again the, like for example i am from gujarat so fees is 10 rupees uh, 20 rupees is there uh i think maras is 10 rupees and different different state like you know, it differs right so fees uh, uh 10 rupees 20 30 is there now and then additional thing if you want and bpl there is no uh it's uh, exempted uh from fees and other charges so and then if you want a certified copy for example you know so you have to pay two rupees uh for per, per page and then for example larger copy you can see here uh for example you want a map of a particular area so you know obviously won't facility won't be there they will be uh, getting done from outside from xerox office or photocopy you know the shop in that case whatever actual charge shall be there that you have to pay and then the some actual cost of price or model or sample so that you have to pay so practically now here the the basic like you know practical thing is 30 days right so 48 hours when the when there is a life of uh, matter of life and liberty so recently i hope uh, some of maybe uh, might have seen uh, there is a district called morbi m o r b i right in gujarat so there you know the the cable bridge collapsed 
So recently, I think uh, I got to know that somebody filed the RTI. The answer, uh, then the information was supposed to be given in because it's a matter of life or liberty. How many people uh, died in a particular you know, mishap? And then so the matter happened, and the commissioner asked for this, you know, uh, because there's, remember, there's no matter of, you know, this, this is simple cases. There is a matter of life and liberty. So, uh, and then he's called in, and then information, the matter has reached to information commission also. Uh, when there is SNA PIO, then 35 days, and then third party involved, we discuss 40 days. And then that security, the other reason, like you see, like, you know, she, like uh, intelligence body and this, and then 45 days is there. Right? So, here you will see. So generally, this is keep in mind. This thirty days is a very important. Uh, now, this is the practical uh, thing you can see. This is a flow party application. So as I said to you, like there is, a, and then anybody can be a public information officer. You have to check it out. Uh, if you know the name or register, no problem. Otherwise, you just write, write PIO, public information officer. So you can see, like register is a PA public information officer in uh, I'm like from Surat to South Gujarat University. Then information to be given in thirty days. Another thing. If information not given in 30 days, it will be considered as a deemed refused. I'm repeating, if information is not given, it will be considered as a deemed refused. Right? Another thing like, and then first appeal to be made in 30 days. There are two things are there. For example, I have a RTI today. Right? I'll get the answer maybe in by uh, 10th December. So from 10th December, right, to 30 days, in 30 days, I have to go for second appeal. Yes, you can see here appellate authority. So here vice chancellor, as I told you, it may be anyone in particular uh, public authority office, right? Second thing, you have not received any reply in thirty, like till thirty days. So it will be considered as a deemed refused. For example, today is a thirty uh, day, and then practically, I suggest at least wait for more, uh, maybe a week or ten days. And the reason is there practically, like you no, know, what day? Like today is the last day, and then sometimes you know. In case this happens, they will dispatch today is a 30 days. The person, the PIO is supposed to give a, a reply in that 30 days. So today that PIO will be dispatching uh, that reply. So what will happen? It will take some time. Even if it is a, a speed post, it may take, let me tell you, within a city or maybe next day. Right? I will like you know, I was in, I will discuss some cases. I was in Ahmedabad, I filed RT in Gujarat High Court. So it was delivered on the second day. If you may be in another district, it may go to after a couple of days, other states. So this thing, so at least wait for a week or uh, maybe uh, uh, 10 days because it may be on, on the way to your, so your, you know, office or home or house, whatever it may be. So please wait for that thing and then go for appeal. And the second appeal to be disposed in 32, uh, I will take up the question because so many questions are keep coming uh, after this presentation or short, I will definitely answer on the way. So 30 to 45 days, there is appeal to be disposed. And then for the second appeal, uh, you will see to be good, like, you know, it will go to state information commissioners. This is the example of like Gujarat. So most of the time, uh, so the second appeal to be made in 90 days, right? And there is no, unfortunately, there is no time limit for you know, disposal of case, cases. Uh, it uh, takes, let me tell you, the uh, one year also, six months, eight year, one year, one and a half year, two year also. So this is the practical difficulties are there. Now, this is the example, same thing, right? Uh, example, you can see here, uh, like a uh, flow days, other things are same uh, related to the Central Information Commission, like, for example, Postal Department or in the public sector, uh, enterprises, railway, so these are the central level public authority, same thing, you can do 30 days, 90 days, so same timeline set there, so nothing, uh, you know, uh, different one, again, the, you know, obviously that uh, central level online RTI application is there, then you can go for it, and then it is at Delhi, so two things are there, so I told you in the beginning, it's certainly like against the order of state will go to state, no, both are different things. Uh, another example, like I got uh, one of student, uh, he sent me, he approached me around uh, nine, 10 years back. So he filed RTI. Uh, he was like pharmacy student. GPAT is a graduate pharmacy attribute test. So again, this is a question. So do not ask a question like, you know, why, please give me justification. Why have you done this? This No, simply like, you know, so don't ask this kind of you no know, question. In that case, just, you know, ask detail whether the, you know, that particular office is Right from that your scholarship comes, you ask for list, right? Whether my name is or there or not, 
that when it was uh, you know remitted or given that money to your uh, colleges that we have to follow don't ask i want justification or so this is a, like you can see difference between two questions he shared with me uh, asked you know, because he filed rti and then waited for more than almost four to five months now two things are there we discussed uh, just while ago that was related to appeal appeal will go step by step application first appeal and second appeal so this is the flow complaint directly you can make to information commission state information commission or maybe uh, by central information commission right so we see here like you know for example there is no that uh, no office of public information officer or not accepting any uh, uh, applications or asking uh, you know exorbitant you know fees amount or misleading or false information incomplete information so directly you can make an complaint directly to information commission state or central level as the case may be uh, now related to the uh no, again compensation very 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 few cases are there so again no practically nothing on ground now related to penalty so if public information officer again it's a matter of disc uh, discretion on the information commission whether in, uh, this penalty should be imposed imposed or not so 250 rupees per day and the maximum 25,000 rupees uh and it will be directed from the obviously the salary of public information officer so this is the the penalty provisions now you see governments again i don't know how many of you aware about you will see a uh, few uh, days back i was okay i will come to some of the questions uh, uh, shortly you see uh, the budget again see like this matter you might have already you see okay campaign jago grahav jago and various others you know campaigns under different ministry for different kind of you no know, uh, policy and schemes or law but again, uh, gradually the budget is again going down. I can uh, see because they are not interested uh, to promoting this uh, RTI act, unfortunately. Now the state level RTI application, sorry, I, I don't know how many are able to see. I'm just trying to keep explaining, uh, share this PPT, go through later on. But this, there is, if there is a format, do not disturb in the format. You just write uh, an exit one. Here, like, you know, I am tracing the application from the Gujarat, you can here see. So I was knowing the name of that particular person here. Uh, so just put up the I put up the name. If you know, if you know that is fine. Otherwise, just write public information officer. Yeah, that's it. Do not write any public information officer and then address. Here there's a format so I wrote annex one. Right. So here annex one, you can see I put up the question one, two, three, four, five, six. That's why I put up the question. This is the I personally been to Gujarat High Court. So this is the receipt I got. Right. So I have fixed and for my record purpose, obviously, and then uh, this is like they call me for hearing and then obviously information was uh, not given. And this is the first appeal. So always try to prepare a cover letter if possible. Again, not necessary, but you know, uh, if I'm able to do so, you can hear see detail and then uh, I was not knowing the name of that person. So just write appellate authority. Right. So they have put up on that website. Designated, so I put up designated appellate authority, right to information, High Court of Gujarat, registered administration. So I was not doing. Otherwise, you just write public information officer, appellate authority. That's it. In subject, RTA application under right application under RTA Act. That's it. Or appeal under RTA. Just write in that way. So there's a format. So again, as I told you, don't worry about the format. There is a rule. Wherever you are from, for example, West Bengal RTA rules, Jharkhand. Right, RTI rules, Rajasthan, MP, Kerala, right? Anyway, you just, you know, well, their rules are there and don't worry about the format, right? You just uh, follow the basic thing, you will get the reply. So format is there, you can see here, uh, RTI applications and then always go on a chronological because you have to attach data, uh, you know, or the previous communication also like copy of RTI application attached and the copy of reply. Now always send by speed post. You would register post or not. I don't prefer in courier also. So you can track. So you can see here, I prepared this later on 10th July 2012. And again, it was in, I was in Ahmedabad and Gujarat High Court is in Ahmedabad. So you can, it was delivered on 11th July, very next day. That's right? so always, I, you know, suggest go for speed post. You can track when it was so from there, you know, you can uh, count your, you know, detail. Now you will see there is a like the you know, form format is there, so no need to worry name of applicant, address, what happened, like when application was made, uh, what are the grounds of appeal? Okay, the information was not given. 
incomplete information given so that way you can briefly mention here and then uh, they called me for again you can for the hearing so i couldn't go and then you can see this is the order of gujarat high court so kalpesh kumar gupta versus public information officer gujarat high court so whatever things they have mentioned and then it was again uh, uh, rejected so order appeal is dismissed up uh, that appellant be informed so that is again you can see july 2012 now what is a next step like application first appeal and this is the second appeal you see so gujarat state information commission second appeal you can see here to try to prepare again every you know uh, like it's all about the, your skill no need to worry right i know so i prepared again so you know covering later okay name of applicant and then uh, so last point you can see brief facts last i am talking about the last again sorry if you are not able to see you can see later on uh, in ppt i will share uh, right away so here you can see here so i file uh, rt and particular date don't write too much here so just annex 1 pio replied on particular date so this is you know briefly so annex 2 uh, and then first appeal annex 3 4 whatever communications are there so you have to obviously you have to attach and a ground for appeal so information was denied incomplete for whatever you know because on the basis of you know that on what basis you have uh, you know uh, made in this particular appeal and then prayer you can here see the give direction to pio to provide information first thing and obey and then impose penalty also you can ask it's matter of discretion right on the information commission whether in the penalty to be levied or not so that you can ask prayer in that so and please again i'm repeating don't go for if you're not able to no problem just Light in plain language, prayer and ground for appeal. No need to worry. You can uh, write in layman language also. Now central uh, level application. This is a application you can see I filed in uh, Supreme Court. So I was knowing the name of a public information officer. If you no know, no no problem, you just write this is public information center public information officer. The letter we are writing and the subject application the R T X. So, dear sir, madam, can you provide the following information? One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, uh, right? Uh, that way. Now you see, uh, right? You have to, right? Again, as I told you, I filed. This is a speed post, right? So I filed the RTI application again. That you can see, this was third July, and it was delivered on. Okay, like I was in Ahmedabad, and this is in Delhi Supreme Court. So six July, it was you know delivered. So obviously, I can, as I told you. Uh, you can track your application detail, and then this is I don't know how many have seen this uh, IPO. How many have seen th what is this the this counter file? Can anybody tell me? Okay, thank you. IPO. Okay, yeah, postal order. Yeah, obviously, you no know, senior faculty member, professional, they might have uh, come across or used this IPO. So this is the easiest way. Let me tell you. So, uh, like lead to fees payment, like central level, you can make a, uh, the cash payment. Right? Obviously, it's not possible to go to that particular office. Second thing, demand draft. Again, it's not advisable. For example, getting demand draft of ten rupees, you have to spend uh, maybe I don't know. Right? Like maybe uh, forty to fifty rupees extra. Right? Third thing, Indian postal orders. Right? So in that case, we will see here uh, Indian. Uh, So it's a very easiest way, right? You go to post office at for ten rupees, you have to pay one rupees extra. So for eleven rupees, you will get uh, uh, right this IPO from the postal department, and this is the counter file. Keep it uh, with you for your record, and here you can see the pay to, right? Please do not write anything. Reason is there because you don't sometimes you see pay can pay an accountant officer or register or anyone because you you don't know. So please keep it open. Right here, you will see uh, right. So pay to they will fill up. There is no need to worry. Right. So you will see here, Karke. Right in that case, Karke. Uh, uh, this is the, again a communication I got from the application. In that case, uh, from the public information officer again that uh, it was not you know uh, given. So another thing, as I told you, if you receive information or not given, so this is the first appeal. So here, like look at this. This as I told you, this no format. So uh, you know. You can see Kalpesh Gupta, and then uh, to soon uh, to register again. I was knowing the name, otherwise no problem. First appeal, you will see, dear sir, I filed the RTI application in that in a particular day, and then annex year one, and then uh, this you uh, know uh, annex year two, right? I filed got the reply. I right, 
go in chronological order whatever you know uh, things are there in communication just keep putting in nx of 1 2 3 4 that way uh, again again this is the order of first appeal so we we'll see here so before appellate authority we we'll see here the kalpesh kumar gautali smita vashi is the pio so again uh, this is the oral order you will see uh, again it was dismissed now another stage is the second appeal so you can see i discuss all things in the state level also prepare up uh, try to have a you know later in that case you will see now uh, second appeal is briefly detailed like you know, brief facts uh, of this particular thing nx01 to that you can see nx2 3 4 5 right whatever communication i mentioned briefly and attach those things again you can see it is a speed post uh, this is the order of you know second appeal uh, again i remember i was in amdabai and i this uh, my home address like surat so i got a uh, uh, at mail nsc center i hope you must be aware of national informatic uh, new center in this is or uh, in that case so i went to surat and the in that case so there's a video conferencing i presented uh, my case and then smita was sharma like she was there at a, of uh, in supreme court uh, sorry office of cic so that way you know i presented uh, my case sitting at in office of nic at uh, center at uh, surat so this way also uh, keep happening so there is no need to go to that particular visit of office of information commission now this is as i told in the beginning uh, related to one of my students he filed rti in the the panchayat office that is related to uh, map uh, detail so this is the land record is in gujarati you can see it took almost one and a half year uh, i taught him you know like in you know, first year so i discuss rti uh, in that first year itself so you know they can start using those thing uh, so again you can see his name is kaushik patel and the google meet the hearing happen right this is a gujarat information commission at gandhinagar so this is way and then uh, his name is kaushik bhai patel and then opponent right you can see here like uh, talati and then tdo taluka development officer so i'm translating for you this is in gujarati this is like uh, pio and he is he is uh, first appellate authority so those thing case happen uh, another thing you will see uh, like uh, so i hope you uh, might have seen so please visit uh, you know this website of central information commission what kind of you know features or uh, things are there please go through it in your respective state this is from gujarat uh, again uh, maharashtra you can see different like you know uh, in some state like we have like you know, benches of circuit bench are there from high court same way uh, like we have been good. so again it's very usual thing i have not seen in any other state this kind of benches so you can see in nashik and then uh konkan uh, pune and then amravati and nagpur uh, aurangabad so benches are there so this is a very good thing because obviously definitely it's uh to very cumbersome to people you know re, uh, travel to from one corner to another uh, corner so this is rajasthan state information commission tamil nadu information uh, commission uh, you can uh, say and this is video conferencing facility here you can see and then again as i told you a uh, lot of things related to like you know file so many in corona time so many appeal and complaint they were you know pending in that uh, case so again the appeal uh, file you know, it can be heard like right? if we start uh, uh, listing and hearing these cases uh, that was pending different uh, countries again different uh, department bodies are there you can see the freedom of information act uh, access to information different offices this is for the you know, uh, information i am i'm asking yes yeah, this is the again rti online uh, for related to central level ministry and then so you can go uh, file easily and then pay online uh, from debit card credit card easily this is which is cheapest easiest way to make an uh, you know begin an application and appeal so please go for if you want so this is an example like i file rti my friend is filmmaker so we were the phd batchmate and he is filmmaker so he wanted uh, right uh, he asked me to file rti to know the like you know the film festivals are there and then there are awards is given so if that is just some related to those information as how many gujarati film entries received which were the criteria for judging uh, entries uh, and then which are the scores so this is the like you know related to our uh, 67 national film awards and same thing uh, the international film Fest, uh, festival award iffi in at goa happens so this is uh, i did for him this is online again uh, please check it out in your state uh, 
RTI applications, uh, provisions, if it's there to use those things very convenient. Uh, again, a lot of things we in Gujarat, a lot of campaign happened and PL was filed to you know, get the RTI you know, portal for you know, Gujarat. Uh, we got, again, this is the uh, last year we got uh, this uh, portal for you know, RTI uh, information in that. And then, uh, and I also, uh, I think last couple of months back, I started uh, started filling this RTI and obviously there's error was coming and I was not able to do. And then I was not able to find that particular department uh, where you know I wanted to file RTI. So this is a practical thing you start learning and then the ways are there. Uh, this is the, again, uh, 2010, I was working in company and the free time I was searching thing, I came across this thing, this free uh, RTI online course. So I did uh, this, uh, course which is a very uh, basic course over there related to introduction and how it works uh, process appeal complaint and then i got this certificate online again it was free uh, things were there uh, again it's not working right now unfortunately for many years there are free some courses are there related to rta or can see institute of manage uh, maintain government these are the quotas are there and then uh, this nptl free courses book courses are there again uh, Led by Professor Sairam Bhatt uh, from NLS Bangalore. So, you go through whenever you get time, do this, you know, courses in free time, uh, explore this thing. Now, uh, I hope some of you must be aware about like what happened, like uh, the state information commission, they are, you know, equivalent to like into election commission. I relate to the status and selling all the things uh, that was, you know, the position that was, you know, given. Unfortunately, 2019, you can see here uh, this uh, the term was reduced, right? So again, the central government will decide that term uh, for a term of five years from the update of uh, so that was a very unfortunate part. So it should be like more than like as I told you, like you know, more than uh, I have almost 85 percent data retired bureaucrat who are the information commission. Unfortunately, you cannot expect some transparency or some you know, I would say efficiency from them. So this is again, you know, practical issues are there. Uh, this is this is, again i am running this page for you know almost a, a decade for the rt awareness uh, thing keep putting thing uh, in that particular group uh, again you can see one of my friend in book fair uh, he has been doing for he did for almost four or five years there is a book store uh, no book fair we are organized at surat so he uh, books but uh, stall in particular preferably in dorm number one so different dorms are there almost 10 15 dorms are there so we address people from related to RTI awareness. These are my students. You can see this is uh, me and then this is my friend. And then uh, this campaign you can see uh, that we used to run. And these are the people you can see here. Eh? We used to uh, distribute pamphlets and tell them uh, uh, related to what is RTI or, you know, almost let me tell you. And then video is also available. I will share uh, that video we prepared. So let me tell you hardly 10% of the people, they, you know, okay, some, you know, RTI is there and only one person they used to know okay there is some you know know how to file RTI so that's a very unfortunate part still you know if you ask someone they know RTI or how to file RTI so very less uh, in awareness are there unfortunately again that's why uh, we have to disseminate you know tell people or you know teach people how to file RTI make use of you know this particular uh, powerful law so thank you very much. Uh, I'm I'll be taking some question. Uh, yes, I'm open for uh, questions. Yeah, pardon okay, me. Please put your queries in the chat box. So can I start uh, reading yes, some yes, of them? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Please, please. Uh, so one query was: Can RTI be filed against banks? And the other is: Will you have civil and criminal suit process step by step? PDF to fresh lawyers from plane to degree. Look at this. Uh, don't uh, confuse with civil other things. This is something different thing. Yes, RTI uh, can be filed against the not. Don't use this word against the bank in bank. Yeah, against this is negative. Some other thing. So public sector bank like uh, SBI and then so public sector bank you can file RTI. For other things, so you have to. Uh, uh, Right, for example, private banks are there. So whatever things so related to information available, so you can file RTI to RBI, right? So that way you have to approach, right? I discussed uh, on you earlier. So only public sector bank for private uh, sector, I give you example of private university. So that we have to uh, strategically you have to work. You have to make an application to RBI or 
other authority which where the information is available of that particular uh, private body. Okay, sir. So the next question is: Again, I tried yeah. to file an RTI, uh, but the charges are very high as it is showing nearly five hundred. Even though I showed like they attached the BPL card to it, is there any other way to file it? Okay, Sanjeev, when are you student faculty? I don't know where did you try to file RTI. I have filed RTI, but the charges are very high. The please check it out. I don't know. This is a maybe ignorance or you know checked out. So you see, uh, like fees are different rules. Like like you know, central level ten rupees fees is there, and the state level, as I told you, different state to state is twenty, thirty, or forty or fifty, maybe different different. I don't know from which state you are there. So this is again, if that person is charging higher fees or things, you can make a complaint to information commission. So that is the remedy. Okay, you are telling even though I attach my app, obviously you just make a complaint to uh, information commission. If maybe state or central, so please check it out those things. Yes, please. Any other thing? What documents obtained under RTI? That's another query. Okay, upper now there is a question uh, maximum how much pages of what is addition fees maximum? So again, uh, related to application, they come up with guideline. Okay, the RTI application, I'm just you know, referring to so it should not be more than 500 words. So second line, they like, no, uh, okay, it won't be, uh, you know, rejected even if it's more than 500 uh, that I'm talking about the words uh, that are there in application. So there is no need to worry in that. Now related to uh, it's up to you. Like Aparna is asking, up, how much pages? They, it's up to you, your requirement. You have to pay then, right? So, for example, you are asking for certified copy, so you have to uh, pay like a, two rupees per page. That particular document, right? Five. Uh, if there are five hundred pages are there, you have to pay then again five five hundred into two, so one thousand rupees you have to pay. So they will communicate to you, right? And then you have to pay then. Sometimes what happens, uh, this is practical things, uh, for some amount they do not, uh, I remember in Gujarat High Court, the page, uh, it was a matter of maybe 20, 30 rupees. So they didn't ask for that money, they send me information. So those things also happen because practical thing, uh, not advisable. I'm making and uh, informing the particular person, pay this 5, 10, 10 to rupees and again I'm replying. So again wastage of time and money is better in providing information. So those the remedy. Is then online courses now how to learn again some RTI uh, some couple of platforms are there right online RTI so they file RTI on behalf of you different different uh, charges are there for fun only application or maybe follow up or penalty uh, appeal so different uh, charges are there so they will do on your behalf those kind of things are also there. Uh, Post now to like you know uh, different different these YouTube videos are available again some suggestion are there how to make you can uh, file RTI application there is uh, different you know videos are available please go through it or you can go through this video go through PPT is there a comprehensive PPT you get to know from ABCD to still a practical thing I let me tell you I started there are four uh, one forty plus slides are there in this PPT. Uh, I started with 40, 50 slides, uh, almost uh, 10 years back. So I started putting gradually a lot of things. I have not put up, uh, uh tried putting from, you know, history and practical, practical things. So those things are there now, uh, any other questions again, uh, can salary details be given under RTI, uh, definitely what kind of salary detail obviously is very information will be available if you're asking for your detail definitely should be uh, available not for others okay why not make everything available online what is the main hurdle yeah definitely i agree with subankar so as much as possible the information to be uh you know disseminate as i told you like so motor even if it's not so motor Right, they keep disseminating whatever happening, uh, right, uh, in the office of public authority. Obviously, not uh, other things, uh, which are confidential. Keep putting on a website, 
so people will come to know and then it will reduce rt applications and then other uh, legal battles okay another question i have got up from mutinje kumar uh, but some rt online website showing it charges 590 and seeking extra photocopy you have to be extra amount so again uh, this is a private somebody i i i'm sure you have approached uh, different different as i told you there are a couple of i know rti online there's a platforms are there so they do make an application on behalf simple different different packages are there for simple rti application with some follow-up with follow-up and then appeal so different different packages are there so according to the charge otherwise as i told you 10 rupees or maybe 20 30 as per your state and two rupees per page or actual amount that you have to pay so please check it out in that regard so nothing like that okay uh any other questions uh Please ask question related to RTI. Uh, what documents are obtained under RTI Information Act? Again, which are the uh, information are available so that can be accessed. Right? That can be so it should be available. Another thing, as I told you, even if it's not available with your RTI application, they will start maintaining those information. Right? So those things also practically happens. So, I mean, so, so night from, yes, as I told you a couple of platforms, you could just go through it, uh, that, you know, more courses. Can I file RTI knowing my status of my case? Again, uh, your own case, because, you know, we can, there is again provisions. It say impede the investigation process, then it won't be given, right? So, that's, that's a criteria. Otherwise, you can follow up those cases. Judicial record, okay. Uh, Again, as I told you, some sometimes you know with your app, uh, as, I told, as I told you, for example, the disclosure of assets of judges, they were saying no, 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 right? Which other example also happens. So then it's all about how uh, sportingly they do, yeah, discuss information, right? So and judicial records. Again, what kind of judicial uh, records? Uh, and there is there are cases are also there. For example, how long? For example, I need data information. Uh, 30, that's available like you know 30 years i need data from like 1980 there's one of the cases uh, i remember uh one of the city subhas he filed rti all india radio right so they asked for the you know information right uh, they asked for the speech when you know, muhammad ali jina they gave on the like you know when the, they got the freedom so there are categories Right. For example, some document to be preserved for three. It's called record retention schedule. I repeat, it's called record retention schedule. Okay, for this kind of you know uh, document will be preserved for three years, three, uh, five years, ten years, and some are for archives. I repeat, some are for archives. Mean it will be preserved for right, uh, you know, longer time. There is no time limit is there. Right. So again, what kind of judicial records that you want, uh, Dr. Pranay, you have asked. Uh, yes, definitely whatever information you cannot ask. So again, depend upon the information to information. So every information you are asking details for that particular another case or in that case. So that is not again case to case basis. It will be you know, uh, applicable. Government aid education institution that come on under RTI. Yes, it will come. Any exemption exempted which RTI is not applicable? I already uh, discussed. Yeah, definitely Kumar Roshan as nowadays RTI is filed against the political electoral bond assets of PMCF. Definitely yes. So this is a you know uh, look, it's a continuous fight. Let me tell you. Electoral bonds or oh, the information cannot be given right uh, related to funding to the political parties. This is later, like you know, like a political party, you have to appoint your public author, they are saying no. These are little practical things, let it definitely I agree. So, this is like you know, long, uh, you know, journey sometimes takes a lot of you know, many years. As I told you, very uh, small case, it takes you know, one, one and a half year. Sometimes, file various RT applications at various places and try to get those kind of you know, information. Sometimes, you see some articles in journal or in you know, newspaper, so they also use RTI. 
and then try to analyze this thing uh, in then put up in making uh, headline or you know various you know various places uh sorry i was very fast because it may take two and a half or three hours so sorry for that okay um, is private university comes under rti the answer is no i told you how to get information of you know uh, you know private body so in right to HUC or education department or regulating body, as I told you, National Medical Council, if there are any medical courses or uh, like law courses or, you know, dental, so whatever that you have to uh, reach out to those regulating body. In order to file RT, I have given, uh, give specific reason for filing RT. No, uh, Satyam Sarma, there is no, as I discussed uh, earlier, there is no need to uh, mention uh, your reasoning. I am filing this RTI for getting this information particular. No answer is no. Right. So they cannot ask. So then there is no need to mention those things. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, we are done with questions. So thank you very much. Pooja Lakshmi, over to you. I hope I'm audible. Yes, yes, yes. As we draw close to this enlightening session on the practical aspects of RTI, we I'm privileged to extend heartfelt gratitude on behalf of everyone present here. It was an enlightening session. We covered the practical aspects of how to file an RTI and how to deal with most of the issues related to it. So as info insightfully discussed to us, the beacon of knowledge shedding light on the intricacies of right to information act and also undoubtedly will resonate with our participants, leaving a lasting impact on the approach to legal aid and allied loss. I would also like to express our sincere thanks to all the uh, um, members and pro bono legal services from contributing to a better society. Uh, further, to the participants, uh, thank you for your active participation and engagement. We hope that the knowledge gained today will serve a valuable foundation to future endeavors in the legal field. As a special thanks to all the organizers and everyone behind the scenes who worked tirelessly to make this event successful. Your dedication and hard work have not gone unnoticed and we will keep on keeping the next session soon. If you haven't taken the test, please do so that it's shared in the WhatsApp group and let's carry forward the insights today into our respect respective spheres and working towards a society that upholds the principles of transparency, accountability and justice. Uh, thank you everyone for your presence and participation. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Vinod Chalakshmi. Thank you, all the participants.